Hey everyone, welcome back to FoxLearn. In this video, I'll show you how to build a complete ASP.NET Web API CRUD application using .NET 9 and Entity Framework Core. First, open Visual Studio and create a new project. Select ASP.NET Core Web API and click Next. Give your project a name, then choose .NET 9 as the target framework. Make sure to enable controllers and open API support. Click Create. Now let's install the required NuGet packages. Open the Package Manager console or use the NuGet GUI and install the following packages. These packages help us connect to SQL Server using Entity Framework Core and add Swagger UI support so we can document and test our web API endpoints easily. In the Program class, configure your services to use EF Core and Swagger. This enables minimal API endpoint discovery, so tools like Swagger can read your routes. We're going to create a product class that represents the data model for our application. This class defines the structure of the data we'll store in the database and work with in our API. In this step, we're creating a class called Application DB Context, which represents the database context of our application. It acts as a bridge between your C-sharp code and the database using Entity Framework Core. This means that our class inherits from the built-in DB Context class provided by EF Core. DB Context is responsible for handling database operations like querying, saving, and updating data. This line tells Entity Framework that we want to create a table in the database called Products and that each row in that table will represent a product object. Open AppSettings.json and add your SQL Server connection string inside connection strings.
This line retrieves the connection string from the app settings.json file. The connection string tells Entity Framework where to find your SQL Server database. Default connection is just the key name in your config. Open the terminal and run the following command to apply the migration and create the database. Once you run the command successfully, you'll see that the products table has been automatically added to your SQL database. Let's create a new controller called Products Controller. This is our Products Controller, which handles API requests for managing product data, like creating, reading, updating, and deleting products. We will inject the application DB context to interact with the database using Entity Framework Core. It acts as the bridge between the controller and the database. This method responds to a simple GET request and returns a list of all products from the database. It uses OK to return a 200 status code along with the data. This version of get takes an ID as a parameter. 
It searches the database for a matching product using Find Async. If the product doesn't exist, it returns a 404 not found. Otherwise, it returns the product with a 200 OK. This is our post method, used to create a new product. It takes a product object from the request body, adds it to the database, and saves changes. After saving, it returns the product object with a 200 OK. This put method updates an existing product by ID. First, it looks up the product. If it exists, we update the name, description, and price, then save the changes. If the product doesn't exist, we return a 404. And finally, this delete method removes a product from the database. It finds the product by ID, removes it, and saves the changes. If the product isn't found, we return a 404. Otherwise, we return a success response. To sum it up, this controller gives us a simple but fully functional REST API using ASP.NET Core and Entity Framework Core. You can connect it to a front end, use it with Postman, or hook it up to a mobile app. Now run the application. It will open Swagger UI in your browser. From here, you can easily test all your API endpoints, get, post, put, and delete. Just click Try It Out, enter your data, and execute.
And that's it. You've successfully built a CRUD web API using ASP.NET Core 9, Entity Framework Core, and Swagger. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified of new tutorials. Thanks for watching Fox Learn, and I'll see you in the next video.